Happy Monday, everyone! Let's kick off a week all about IV fluids. So you're caring for a client receiving continuous isotonic IV fluids. It infiltrates. Oh no, it's gonna happen. What is the first action you take? Pause here, use those testing strategies, and click play when you're ready to review. All right, should you reduce or stop this infusion? You've got these answer choices where you can kind of break them down into two groups. A and D were reducing, B and C were stopping. So we know we can eliminate two of these answer choices off of the bat. You're not gonna reduce the IV rate if it infiltrates it, you are going to stop it. So cross out A and D automatically. You've already got a 50% chance of getting this right. Now am I going to stop it and remove the catheter or stop it and reposition the catheter? Think about your anatomy here. What's happening if an IV infiltrates? It's going through the wall of that vein, right? If I reposition it, great, but I've already poked a hole in that vein. So turning my fluids back on, they're gonna keep leaking out of the vein. Not appropriate. B, stop that infusion and remove the catheter is correct. I hope this helped. Keep watching all week for more IV fluid content and get our QBank over at archerreview.com. I'll see you there.